uh, to keeping mm -hmm. health premiums low. I mean, I, this, I, this is far a, short of the 39% uh, percent. Well, that, that's an excellent, uh, John, thank you. I appreciate the question. And I think as uh, some folks covering this issue reported, this is actually uh, very solid news and uh, tracks very closely with what you saw happen in Massachusetts. And it is a simple, I think, <coughs> statement of observed fact and experienced fact for everyone in this room who is ever young, uh, which I think is everyone, uh, and, and is, is still current for some of you, uh, that young people uh, are, you know, last to the party when it comes to, you know, people are last to the party. motivated by deadlines. They're motivated by deadlines. When you have, if you have an uninsured young adult, your, uh, yeah, it depends on the party you're talking about, but if you have an, uh, if you have an uninsured young adult uh, who didn't have insurance, uh, didn't think he or she needed it, uh, they weren't necessarily compelled to act by the uh, end of the year deadline, uh, but they will be by the March 31st deadline. And I think if you look at the Massachusetts experience, uh, where in the first three months of enrollment there, young adults made up 15, 23, and 23 uh, percent, we are uh, very much uh, in, in, in that bandwidth. And I think you've seen a lot of quality reporting about uh, why the surge in enrollments that we saw generally and the even greater surge in youth enrollment that we saw in December uh, are uh, important trends that we hope and expect to continue.